For Pesto Evolve, we felt that it had to go back to the very roots of the beautiful game, which is easier said than done as it turned out to be a huge challenge. So what was it that we focused our so much of our efforts on? That's team strategy. First thing we've done is to overhaul our AI. We did this by introducing two new systems, the first being Team Style, which allows the player to fine-tune the team's setup using these eight sliders. Let's see what happens if we mess around with player support. Move it towards 100, which is max, and the players will move ahead of the man in possession when waiting for the ball. Move it to zero and they'll all about drop back behind him. You see it? Set it to 90 and players overtake the man in possession to receive the ball further upfield. Tactical changes take effect immediately and that is something we worked very hard on. Ok this time, let's see what happens if we adjust the support range. Push it up to 100 and players provide close knit support. Good if you like playing your short passes. Push it towards 0 and the players spread out. We've set it to 10 this time. Seems the perfect length for playing long balls, but you can see it really isn't the setup to play balls along the ground. It's always best to experiment to find your own level. Let's take a look at the four offensive sliders. Set player support high, as well as support range, making short passes more effective. Position switch is frequent, and attacking style, more towards using the flanks as Barca are a side that likes to play with width. Now, onto the four defensive ones. Pressing high, defensive line also set high, as is compactness. Finally, defensive strategy. You can either defend in a single line across the pitch, or get players to cover each other as required. We think the former is more Barca. Imagine doing this with your team. Now, on to the second of the major additions, which are the cards, of which playing style cards are the most significant. While these cards give players a unique edge, it won't boost their parameters in any way, but they certainly provide you with more tactical options. Let's see who has what. Daniel Alves has overlapping run. Pretty self-explanatory. Eto, chasing back as he likes to pressurise people from upfield. Henri likes to shoot across goal inside the 18-yard box, so cut back pass. And for Messi, incisive run, as he likes cutting it from out wide. Playing style cards can also be switched off for tactical reasons, there are bound to be times when you want your team to be defensive. OK, let's take a look at Daniel Alves. Switch his card on, and he'll always look to go forward. Great when attacking, but it leaves gaping holes at the back. Switch it off, and he'll play more like a conventional fullback. In PES 2010, there's a huge range of tactical cards. 
They can give you more control over your players or help you out with the opposition. Get it right and the defects can be devastating. Both cards and sliders play a massive part in getting the team to play just the way you want it. So these are some of the ways in which PES is evolving. It gives you, the player, a much greater level of control in setting up the team. We hope that fans can find honing the tactics and settings perfection through many hours of play and the odd sleepless night a rewarding experience in creating your own winning formula.